Oh my goodness. Hello, beautiful. Today we're gonna look at the new Anastasia Beverly Hills new lipsticks and her new lip liners. I've got the satin lipstick and the matte lipstick. So we're just gonna go ahead and try these out if you would like to see what they look like. And if they are worth it, then just keep watching. I love making product review videos for you, and I also love trying out new makeup. So if you are also into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, make sure to like this video if you found that it was helpful, if you enjoyed it. If you're a fan of Anastasia, make sure you to like this video. By you liking this video, it's going to help spread it out to other people who might also be interested in this product. And without further ado, let's just get into these swatches and all that jazz. Um... These lip liners come in 18 shades and retail for $18. They claim to be long wearing and fully pigmented matte lip liners. It's supposed to be creamy, not shiny or slippery with a velvet matte finish. Lastly, these are cruelty free and free of parabens. Her new matte and satin lipsticks are designed to pair well with the new lip liners. There's 18 shades that retail for $23. These lipsticks claim to be deeply pigmented, long-lasting, velvety soft, and feather light. Again, these are cruelty and paraben free. I think the hardest part was the acceptance that I let you slip in. And maybe I could fall. Just try to remember who surrounded you From all the heaps of fallout new to all Well maybe I could give it to her Cause when you said it wasn't much a single call Well how do I take your word well over his? Yeah how do I take it for less than it is? Tore down the walls, try my best to let you in Yeah how was I supposed to know what you had? What you had? Yeah no Accepting that I fell for the show But now that I know why It's been getting easier to let go of all The wasted years, the wasted tears that I When I was trying to figure out what all the distance meant The sentiment all gone Well, how do I take your word well over his? Yeah, how do I take it for less than it is? Tore down the walls, try my best to let you in Yeah, how was I supposed to know what you hate? What you oh my goodness. Let me first start off by saying that the matte lipsticks are out of this world. Now, I do not have a lot of experience with matte lipsticks. I've said this in the past. Overall, I just shied away from them because I really hate how they feel on the lips. However, I have lately been trying like a few different matte lipsticks. I've tried some that have been pretty good and I've tried some that have been eh, so so with this matte lipstick as soon as I applied it I knew that it was something different and like nothing I felt before this is one of the like most non matte matte lipsticks I've ever worn it just it it came on like creamy and also very thin and it just was a really enjoyable experience applying it on i was shocked i've had it on for about five ish minutes now it is starting to dry down it is starting to get a little tight like most matte lipsticks it's still comfortable though and i think a good thing about this matte lipstick is that it's it feels very Thin. So the fact that it like feels a little thin makes it a much more enjoyable experience. So overall, as you could tell from this little review, I absolutely love the matte lipsticks. Color is also just so 
stunning. I absolutely love this color. Sugar Plum is supposed to be a rosy plum. That's, that's fairly accurate. So again, love the matte lipsticks. I highly recommend them. Of course, we're going to have to come back to see how long lasting these are and uh, that will probably be my final test. Other matte lipsticks that I tried recently, they don't feel like as drying as this one does. Don't get me wrong, it's not insanely drying. Um, I can tolerate it, but I do prefer it to be a little less drying, especially because when I first applied it, it didn't feel drying at all, so I just wish it felt like how it did when I first applied it. I'm gonna hop right into the lip liners. I don't know what it is about these lip liners because I'm I'm not big on lip liners. I'm kind of like, just give me something, let's go. I'm not picky whatsoever. But for some reason, I really like these lip liners. I don't know what it is. I think it's the formula. It just feels really nice. It's not like insanely creamy to the point that it's just like slipping all over my lips. It's got a little bit of like that matte stiff texture with a little tiny bit of cream. And the combination just makes it a really nice experience. It, it feels so comfortable on my lips when I'm using it. The biggest thing that I like about these lip liners though is that they're really easy to use. I feel like this is totally beginner friendly. Also tried the Primrose palette, her eyeshadows, and that was also super beginner friendly. It was just so easy to use, it was so easy to blend, and it kind of gives me that vibe with these lip liners. Uh, recently, I tried makeup by Mario's lip liners, and those, by the way, were pretty creamy. And I don't know, I struggled using those. I ended up low key kind of hating them. This one, I don't, I feel like the complete opposite. Like, I love these. I almost kind of wanted to give up on lip liners because I'm like, if makeup by Mario didn't come out with good lip liners, how could it, how could any lip liner, like, how could I like lip liners? But no. Because I'm trying these lip liners, it definitely makes me want to branch out and try other lip liners. I just really like these. It is a pencil form. I know some people might like the retractable, but I'm actually liking the pencil lip liners. I just feel like they're easier to use and I get a better, like a more precise application. And again, I really like the formula of it. It makes me feel like I really can use these lip liners to get my colors to last all day long. It has that kind of texture where it feels like it's just gonna stay on my lips and it's gonna stain them. Also, again, just super easy to use. When I was outlining my lips, I didn't have any problem whatsoever. It was really nice to blend uh, blend it out as well, whereas like it didn't like dry up quickly. But again, not too creamy, but at the same time, I was still able to easily blend it all over my lips. I think this one is a great match. My favorite though is Chai. Like Chai, if you are looking for a good brown lip liner, you need to pick yourself up the uh, Chai lip liner. This is just your perfect, your perfect brown color. Like how perfect is this brown here? Usually, our brown lip liners are not the type of browns we're looking for, but this one is totally it. Chai is actually a little bit creamier than Blackberry, so please take note of that. I think the lip liners might have a little bit of a different consistency to it. Um, but yeah, I love them. Again, I highly recommend these. Like I said, with the Makeup by Mario lip liners, I'm so content with my NYX lip liners, right? Like, they're so inexpensive i think you could probably pick up what pick up a one for like six dollars but even with the next lip liners i would still recommend this and suggest picking it up because the formula and the texture is a little bit different than the nyx the tip is also who is that the tip is also a lot skinnier than the nyx i don't know if that is what your preference is but i personally like that like I feel like I could just use the flat side to kind of get a bigger line and go all over my lips and then I could just use more of the pointier tip to outline my lips. That was well worth my money. Actually would consider picking up more of her lip liners despite the cost. With all the lip liners that I tried, I've tried like um, the Kim Kardashian, I've tried Colourpop, I've tried Kylie Jenner, I've tried Jaclyn Cosmetics. This one is my favorite. It was almost like love at first sight. That was a lot of talking about just a lip liner, so definitely that goes to show that I really like that product. Now, on to the satin lipstick. 
it's nothing special. I wouldn't run to the store to go pick it up. That's honestly my first impression of uh, her satin lipsticks. It's just nothing special. It's like been there, done that. It didn't make my lips look any nicer uh, like some other lip products have lately. It's nice. I think the packaging is beautiful. I think the color, um, the color is great actually. And um, so if you are looking for a good satin lipstick, then go ahead. It's great. It's, I like it. Um, but for me, it just, it's nothing innovative. It's nothing different. The matte lipstick feels innovative to me because of that, the way it felt when I first applied it. And I just love the color. Um, but again, the satin lipstick just didn't really blow my mind. So definitely what I would recommend from her new lip products would definitely be the matte lipstick and her lip liners. Mm -hmm. You just want to make sure you properly exfoliate because you do not want any dry skin on your lips because it will definitely show it. I've got a little bit right here, even though I did exfoliate my lips for a long time still happens to show some like dry skin around this area so make sure to exfoliate i just can't get over this i love this lip color again slightly comfortable on my lips not bothersome whatsoever and i'm just so ready to rock this lip product go out and know that i'm gonna have a lip product that's probably gonna last for a long time but of course i'll come back later and i'll let you know how long lasting this lip liner is oh my i have been filming like all day and my kitten is getting like pretty destructive at the moment but uh this is what my lips look probably roughly almost like six hours i would say so we could see now that pretty much the lipstick has faded and has kind of gone into my creases but on the plus side, my lip liner is still intact. You could definitely see it on the bottom. So with that said, I think it's probably uh, the best, I, it's probably best to pair this with a lip liner. I did wear this lipstick for a pretty long time. So also I ate, I drank. So that kind of washed it away. But of course, there are some other lip products out there that are actually long lasting. And also the way that this wears down, it's not horrible, but it's also not the most flattering. And um, definitely, I think the reason why it doesn't look worse than it does is because of the lip liner that I have on. So yeah, that's what the lips are looking like right now. So that is a definite con. I do wish this lasted a little bit longer. You can kind of tell that it wasn't going to last that long just because of how thin the consistency is. So definitely if you are planning on picking up this lipstick, I would highly recommend pairing it with a lip liner. I kind of always thought matte lipsticks were like long lasting cause like it still feels, my lips still feel dry, but it's the matte lipstick has pretty much left my lips. But yeah, that is a final review. And that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it or if you found it helpful or if you would just like to uh, share it with other people, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that other people can find out about this amazing lip product. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I'm always reviewing new makeup over here. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.